Hello, people on the internet, and this is the place I drove one hour to arrive. A viewer told me about this place, and the parking is free here. The only downside is I parked my car all the way over there. The park I'm going to paint is all the way over there. It will be a pain to drag my heavy easel box. However, today I'm just scouting. I will be on my way to grocery shopping after this. So just a quick walk around. Hmm, this is a pretty good composition. This goes without saying. It is important for you to walk around the place first before making any composition ignore, decisions. Ignore the shit. Look at the dragonfly. Scouting is an obligato step. Same goes with photography. You should go take pictures with your eyes first before setting up a tripod. I didn't bring my easel or canvas, but I did bring my watercolor and sketchbook. I might make a little study. Oh, this place is full of bugs. This bug is so intimidating. I forgot to bring insect repellent spray with me, so I just want to leave. I can't paint with this many bugs flying around me, especially those big ones. I'm actually fine with it. I don't think you should only paint or practice in the perfect environment. Alright, I will paint. Just a quick one. Okay, I'm leaving. Bye. I'm back to make an oil painting this time, but first things first. When I was scouting here last time, I found a parking lot that's a lot closer to the park. And despite signs say special permit is needed in order to park here, I saw people just park without permit. I guess during this quarantine time, buildings here are all closed so you can use their parking spots. Okay, this is a lot closer. Insect repellent spray. It is rather cool here. Thanks, Tree, for giving me this shaded area. This lid for liquid seems completely broken. I mark out the composition and begin painting from furthest to closest. Furthest is again sky. I'm not aiming for realism, I just want to focus on painting colors and light, not forms. As impressionists say, my subject matter is not tree, not lake, not people. My subject matter is light. My canvas board is primed with diluted bright red acrylic. I enjoy how this red shows through here and there in between the blues and the greens. I also add plenty of white into all the colors to dull everything down. Contrary to expressive and vibrant colors a lot of impressionists would use, I want this painting to be quiet and cool, cause that's how I feel right now. 
I use horizontal brush strokes for the pond and vertical brush strokes for trees. There's no lotus blooming, but I paint some anyway because I want some red here. And that has been almost two hours. Time to leave. This park is much closer to where I live. However, the parking fee is not friendly. This park has got everything though. Old brick walls, graffitis, hanging metal plates with fish cutouts, vivacious kids, ponds, water lily, wooden pathway, bizarre rocks, huge bees, hills, and lots of trees. And a rip teepee. Alright, this is my composition. I only have about an hour left until sunset. Natural light shifts fast, especially when it's closer to sunset time. So I figure I should just use smaller canvas. Pretty similar approach as last time, just a smaller canvas board with half of the time. It's been 40 minutes, I shall stop here, because color has changed too much for me to continue this study. As you can see, the sky is so much more orange than before. In 15 minutes, the sky will go deep blue, then completely dark. Just imagine how fast the light would shift in this short amount of time. For painting such scene, I have to paint in at least two sessions. That's a lot of traveling, which is fine with me. It is a parking fee that I don't like. I cannot afford paying $8 just to study the sunset here. The shape of the middle building is off. It should be shorter. Alright, let me paint from photo of the same scene but 15 minutes before sunset. As much as I enjoy painting details, I start to allow myself to paint loosely. It is not easy to paint loose while ensuring the completeness of a painting. I will continue to try and study from nature and from just painting a lot. Plein air sessions from this video were all nice and cool. The overall experience was good. I think that's it for this video. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you again in my next video.